Okay, in this video, I'll be testing to see if consuming one ounce of erythritol is going to have any effect on my blood sugar or ketone levels. Um, I'll be using the Keto Mojo glucose and ketone meter. Uh, disclaimer, revo results will vary from person to person. These are my personal results. Also, right now I'm on a uh, four day water fast. This is my day two of that water fast. So I should be in a pretty good level of ketosis. And considering erythritol has zero net carbs, I would think it would have little to no effect on my blood sugar or ketone levels. And you can probably see the label here, zero net carbs. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm gonna pour one ounce of erythritol into a glass of water. So this is a one ounce shot glass that I'm using. And hopefully it dissolves pretty good. This is um, warm water. So what I'm gonna do is test my results uh, every 20 minutes um, just to see what changes uh, they're gonna be. Um, and according to Google, uh, blood glucose levels reach its peak after about one hour. Okay, so this looks like it's it's almost dissolved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test my current uh, blood glucose level and ketone levels uh, before I consume the erythritol. So first, let me wipe my finger so I don't get a nasty infection or anything. All right. So this one is going to be the uh, ketone test strip first and then this package all right so I'll test that first put it here in the meter uh, take a test okay Just waiting for the results to show up. Oh, on this ketone test, it came up pretty high. So that's a, a 4.3. So I'm on a good level of ketosis. So next I'm gonna test my blood glucose. Get that out of the package. I guess next time I'll take these out first. Do that. Put that in there. Make a hole. Now it looks like more blood is coming out in that first hole. Let's see here. Okay, I'm just waiting for the results to show up now. So my glucose level, you can see right there is an 88. Okay, so so now what I'll do is wait uh, 20 minutes, or actually drink the erythritol first, and then wait 20 minutes. All right, and I'm setting a timer here for 20 minutes, and then I'll come back with the next reading. Okay, so 20 minutes have went by, so I'm going to retest um, my ketone and glucose levels. Okay, so first um, I'm going to start again with my uh, ketone level. So that's going to be this blue strip right here. Put it in the meter. Okay. Get a sample of that. All right, so now I'm waiting for the results to show up of my ketone. My previous ketone when I started was a 4.3. So 
So let's see what it comes up as this time. So there was a little bit of a, a change there. It went from a 4.3 to a 4.4 after roughly 20 minutes. Uh, let me test my glucose level. I guess I'll probably have to make another hole in my finger. All these holes. <clears throat> so, that is kind of surprising. My blood glucose went from an 88 to a 100. So that was a 12 point increase. So I'll wait again and test it uh, in another 20 minutes or so. Okay, so another 20 minutes have went by. I'm gonna do another test. That last test was pretty surprising, so I'm curious to see um, what this one is gonna be. And I'm gonna do my uh, ketone test first. The last reading was a 4.4. So let's see what this one turns out to be. Use a different finger this time. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be my ketone reading. Wow, so is, I'm an even higher level of ketosis, so I'm at a 5.0, whereas before I was at 4.4. Now I'm going to test my glucose. Put that in here. Uh, okay. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So my blood glucose went down to 80. Previously it was at 100, so it actually dropped pretty quickly. And according to Google, it should have reached its highest point after one hour. So maybe it'll continue to go down. I'll wait another 20 minutes and do another test and uh, see where it's at. Okay, it's been another 20 minutes, so I'm going to do another uh, test. So let me get this ready. Start off with the ketone test again. My last reading was a 5.0. So I'm waiting for these results to come in. Okay, so now it's on the uh, downfall, it's at 4.5. Do my glucose test. So my glucose came in at a 90. My previous result was an 80. And I guess I'll wait another 20 minutes to see what those results are. Okay, another 20 minutes have went by, so I'm gonna do another test. So let me get my Lancet ready here. Okay. Then I'll do ketone test first. My last result was a 4.5. And that 4.5 was pretty close to where I started. I started off at a 4.3 before I consumed the erythritol. Uh, let's see here, that one didn't work too good. Okay, 
here we go. So let's see what result this is going to be. Okay, so this one came up as a, a 4.6 ketone level. Now I'll do the glucose. Well, I should have put this in first. Okay, so I pretty much reach baseline where I started off. So this is an 88 uh, glucose. Um, so when I just started, I had a ketone level of a 4.3 and a glucose of 88. Now I ended after an hour and 20 minutes with a ketone level of a 4.6 and a blood glucose that went back to exactly 88. So those are some uh, interesting results. So I'm gonna end it with that one since I'm pretty much returned back to where I started at the same blood glucose level. So it, what I've realized is that erythritol does, uh, it does increase your blood glucose, well for me at least, uh, temporarily but it did make my level of ketosis uh, go into a, a higher level, which indicates you know, a higher level of fat burning. So I think in my next test, um, you know, towards the end of my water fast, what I'm gonna do is just test regular table sugar to see how it compares to erythritol. Uh, I imagine the results should be a lot different, but uh, I guess I'll know in a couple days here. Um, this is my first on-camera video I have ever made for YouTube and it's also the first video on this channel so I hope you liked it. If so, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell to be notified of my next video. In my next video I will test regular table sugar and in the video after that zero net carb bread. Uh, write in the comments below if there is any specific product you would like me to test and see you next time. Bye